Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Vivian from the Vapor Letter blog and today I'm doing a project share and envelope decorating. Now I may recognize that uh, ooh, I already collected a bunch of things for the envelope decorating but I wanted to say that I, I do recognize that it may be a little bit confusing when I say envelope decorating because this is also an envelope but this is actually the happy meal and you will see what I've done in a second I think it's really really exciting uh, I really had a lot of fun making it but before I start let's pick out a tea um, I have no clue what this means oh wait it just is a potato Okay, I'm gonna try this one that uh, I already talked about. <laughs> it, this one is the one from Michelle. I uh, showed you the opening of her Happy Meal in a video and I wasn't sure what the frog and the hair were doing. It's, it looks very weird. But anyway, this is a tea. I cannot read the back, but it says here Sakura Ceylon. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm just gonna try it. I think, whoa. Whoa, it sounds, it sounds, it smells. It smells a little bit alcoholic almost. Uh-oh. Monday morning, you know, how to spice up your Monday morning. I'm just gonna try it. I think it's black tea, so that's usually quite nice with some sugar. Might have to get some sugar in a second. I actually tried, well, I haven't thrown it out yet. But look, I actually tried um, the, the one I got in a paper gang box with chocolate and mint when I made a PO box opening video just a few, minutes ago and it was so so bad i really no i'm really sorry i do not like chocolate and mint but okay this is the envelope i'm going to decorate as you can see it's really big but otherwise um, the happy meal wouldn't fit and this is my happy meal so i did one of these before um i'm just calling them exploding envelopes i really don't know how else to um uh, to describe them but look it's actually the envelope is actually the happy meal um, I did one of these before, like I said, in that flipbook swap that I would do with, that I was doing with Nathalia. I will also link that down below if you want to check it out. I have too much stuff here, but I cannot put it on the chair behind me because Noose is there. <laughs> I'll just put it on my lap. Okay, so I did one of these before, but this was the first time I actually made it like a real envelope, I think. So what I did is I just um, made the biggest envelope size I could possibly imagine. I used a 12 by 12 paper, I think, and I uh, trimmed it. No, I and I just made an envelope with my scoreboard because I didn't have an envelope punch board back then. Uh, I used double-sided paper and I, I did make it a little bit smaller. So if you were actually going to make an envelope, this would be too small. Look, you can barely glue it, but I don't know. It's it's like not supposed to stay closed anyway. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to show you what I did first. Um, yeah, I decorated the outside. It, the paper was already so pretty that I didn't want to do a lot to it. And then I used a small piece of a doily here and these stickers that say XOXO and then some circle stickers and a little dream catcher here because the, the theme of this meal seems to be a little bit like dream catcher and feathers and stuff like that. And then, well, I don't even know where to start. Oh no, one of the stars came off. Shoot, I don't know where this one came from. Okay, I will find out where this one came from and then we will put it back. But okay, we have, this is like the base, the envelope base. Um, at the bottom, at the top here, we. I really hope you can see this by the way. At the top, we just have a, a uh, card that says your vibe attracts your tribe which i think is very cute and uh you know i decorated the page with a lot of animal dots and um, paper scraps and all stuff like that and then here on the left i have a little tiny envelope i don't want to open it but i am going to open it anyway but i don't want to ruin it yeah a tiny envelope i made and in there is a cute come out washi type sample from Dutch designers so I thought that would be cute because probably she cannot find this in Canada oh by the way this meal is going to my pen pal Hillary in Canada I've done videos with her meal before and then out here um, well I have new waterproof ink that I can color in and I just stamped a whole bunch of images for her from leaves and teacups and coffee cups and more leaves and flowers and these this is my new favorite stamp it has mushrooms so 
I did that and then I just added a note like I use my new waterproof ink so you should be able to color these in. So that's just a little like a personalized goodie and then yeah this is just a collage and a uh, flamingo paper clip to hold everything in place. <laughs> and then this is actually the, I don't know how you call this, like a no, I'm not gonna try and name this. This is the middle of the flip book. I used another one of those pretty cards. Everything starts with a dream and then a dream catcher that I put on frame type, so it's a little bit higher. I doodled all around this page with um, white gel pen. And then, okay, so basically this, oh, there's, there's the star. I'm just gonna use some glue and put it back. So this is actually what I did. Um, I used one large piece of paper and I folded that in two parts so that you can... What? Why are they all coming off? Stay put! This is supposed to be like really strong glue. Okay, um, so what I was saying is this is just one piece of paper that I folded into th three little cards. And I got this idea from... Um, my pen pal Elia. Um, she also made me a card like this. It, hers was a little bit different. I mean, hers was fall themed first of all, but she also had this part um, in the, the bottom right corner and she flipped it. So mine opens like this and hers opens the other way around. And I really, really love that idea. So that is why I thought I'd make my own version. Um, I have seen um, envelopes like this made before on Instagram so I cannot really credit one person for this idea uh, but this particular idea I definitely got from my pen pal uh, oh yeah <laughs> so credit where credit is due so anyway I this is well this flips up I have some pretty stickers here from feathers because it was actually quite funny I did an action shuffle where I showed you that I got that book with uh, die cuts and stickers and all of that and I also had um, a, a sticker pack from Aliexpress that had the same designs so that matched really nicely so I used both um, both for this meal so we have these stickers here with again a little dream catcher but just the bottom of it and I think that looks so nice and then I cut out the this vellum quote um, vellum paper quote that says take me to the stars and then obviously I used glue and I dotted all around the page with these pretty stars and I haven't I have had these for quite a while and I haven't used them as often as I would like but I really love how this turned out and then also I used my golden golden ink to stamp some more feathers around the page and this bottom pocket here has my letter and some more goodies just carefully take that out um, I'm obviously not going to show you my letter but uh, this is how I decorated the page uh, there's a little moon here with again some stars which I think is very cute and then I used this feather paper um, to create a tiny little pocket and I used a uh, paper punch to make the edges look a little bit cooler and then I have a, a lot of vellum stickers in here so these are all vellum stickers and these are all paper stickers actually paper feel stickers with gold foiling so I'm not gonna open that uh, I mean it's not that interesting but I think she will really really like them and I was actually quite surprised at how many how many things I can actually put in this setup and then we also have it flipping down uh, obviously one part is glued so you only have two flaps here i made another collage with a dream catcher so uh, obviously this is a stamped dream, dream catcher this was also stamped but i stamped it with white ink and it was barely visible so i went over it again with a jelly roll so i wrote dream again and feather on puffy stickers and this is just a, an envelope filled with a lot of die cuts, but I'm not gonna open that. Just believe me, there's a lot of die cuts in there. So this is actually the mail, and I do have one more touch I want to add. I don't know if you guys saw my Pipsticks giveaway unboxing. If you haven't yet, go check it out. But they included this cute wrinkly paper, and I love the idea of adding some of this 
to the mail. I also love adding confetti, but I know that that can be a bit of a pain to clean up. And this might be a little bit easier and less messy, although it could still be quite messy. But I think this adds something uh, a little bit whimsical. And now, oh, I've already filmed a lot today. I also did the Pierre box opening video. Um, so I'm going to decorate the envelope with a voiceover. Okay, so you may notice by how uh, summery my outfit is, <laughs> by the short sleeves and stuff. But I actually filmed this back in October, because we had some really good days in October. But sadly, I uploaded, or I made this and sent this in October, like the end of October. And then I found it in my mailbox again, I think two weeks ago. <laughs> because this was going to Canada and there was a strike in Canada. They didn't deliver mail for I don't know how many weeks. And then um, my pen pal also moved. So I actually sent it to her old address, but, they, but she said that it should still be all right because she was still in contact with the person in her, at her old address. Um, but apparently something went wrong and they sent it all the way back to me. So I got it back. Um, uh, around three months after I sent it, which is a very long time. It usually takes around two weeks to mail to Canada uh, at the very most. So I don't know what it was doing in the meantime. That's actually quite sad. I actually, I thought she would have received it by now, but uh, yeah, it's back. And what I'm showing you now is that I have four colors of distress, oxide, green, and blue, which is actually the outside of the, uh, the the happy meal that I made. And then I have pink and purple, which is the inside. It actually, the, the, these four colors match the happy meal perfectly. So I thought it would be cool to use them for the envelope as well. But then sadly, uh, I got it back and the envelope was actually a little bit damaged. Not really damaged, but it was like, you know, it had traveled all the way around the world twice. And then uh, it wasn't, it couldn't, I couldn't use it again, so I had to pick a new envelope, put on new stamps, sadly, so I had to pay postage twice, which is kind of expensive, but okay, I'm not complaining. Um, but then, sadly, this was also lost. And what was also sad is that I put on really pretty stamps. You will see that in a second, and of course, I couldn't use them anymore, so I just cut them out and I put them into the new envelope. And I put a note saying these were the stamps I used, I didn't want to go... I didn't want them to go to waste because they are really cool and I will tell you why I want to show them. But okay, what I'm doing now is I'm using these Distress Oxide. Uh, I'm still pretty new to it when I make this, so it's really a lot of trial and error, but it actually works quite well, even though the paper quality is not good. It's just a simple envelope. So what I did is I used all four colors. I made that, uh, yeah, you know, I... I Okay, no, wait, I'm confusing myself. What I did first of all is I cut out, I used a piece of scrap paper and I cut out an, uh, a label that I really liked and then I put that on the paper and then I put the distress oxides on there so that it would actually leave the label blank so I could write her address on there. And then I put the distress oxides on there and then what you saw me do is you saw me spray it it's one of those water misters, like plant misters I got from Ikea. You saw me spray it with water uh, because that gives a really cool effect on Distress Oxide. As you can see, you have those white spots now, which actually looks really, really cool. And then I let that dry. I took off the label and as you can see, it leaves a white space in the shape of a label, which I actually think is really, really cool. And then I used uh, some... Uh, some letter stickers for her name and then also I could have done I put stamps on the paper first I could have done that afterwards because then of course you would have those that black be more vibrant but I decided to put it on first because if you cover up stamps with distress oxide it gives kind of an almost vintage look and I think that's uh, pretty cool <laughs> So I have the stamps, I have a piece of uh, scrap paper from a Flow magazine and then I use that craft paper which I always get at the flower store, <laughs> at, the fl at the farmer's market and I, I kind of make a little collage. And then I use a jelly roll, I think it says from my desk to yours actually I'm sure it says that because <laughs> white jelly roll looks really really cool on uh, 
on craft paper. And then I was a little bit lost, which you also saw. I was a little bit lost as to what to do next. So I decided to put some more stamps because it's quite a big envelope, quite a large envelope, and I didn't really know how to continue because I like what I've done so far and I don't want to cover it up too much, but I also don't want it to be too empty. So then I'm using a couple of stickers from my Pipsticks pack. I will link the Pipsticks playlist down below if you want to check that out. That's actually one of my favorite sheets. So I used Pipstick stickers and um, a couple of uh, Nouveau crystal drops that I made before. You can put them on used sticker paper and then glue them on. Actually works really well instead of putting it directly onto the paper. Because if you use used sticker paper you can carefully peel them off. But oh, it makes me so f actually frustrated <laughs> to look at this and know that I put in so much work. I made it quite pretty. I was really happy. And then it, it traveled all the way to Canada and then all the way back to me. And that sticker sheet you see there is actually a sheet of washi type strips. That's also from a Flow magazine or maybe even from the Flow book of paper lovers. Not entirely sure. Then I was going to make a wax seal. I also saved, I cut out the wax seal and I sent it to her because it turned out so beautiful. Uh, I, I layered a couple of uh, things. I, I, I think I only layered that uh, paper scrap and maybe even the craft paper, I'm not entirely sure. And then I put the wax seal on top of that. I have these really, yeah, some of the craft paper as well. I have that really, really beautiful, you'll see that in a second, really, really beautiful, like almost coral pink, um, coral colored pink wax. And it's so pretty. I had to get more because I only got a few in one of those mixed color bags. And I left a little bit of silver and other stuff from previous wax seals in the spoon. And it gives such a pretty effect. This is actually one of my favorite wax seals I've ever done. And it turned out really great. I don't know. I'm afraid now that I'm not showing you the stamps. Am I showing you the stamps? Okay, I should just start telling you in case I forget to do the stamps in this video. What I used is I have a couple of these older stamps that have flower seeds in them. So they're stamps and you can plant them afterwards. Oh, I'm not showing them, sorry. Oh yeah, and there's also a little bit of pink left over in the spoon. But yeah, I ended up using flower seed stamps. So I was so sad that this didn't reach her as it was actually one of my favorite projects I've done so far. But okay, I've sent it again. I hope that by now it has reached her. Otherwise, it's a huge spoiler, but okay. Um, so yeah, that was my video for now. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like the envelope decorating as well as, of course, the project share. Leave this video a thumbs. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be back on Friday. I think I also still have to upload an older shop log but i'm not sure if that will be this week but okay i'll be back on friday for sure okay bye bye